Well, this next segment has been 25 years in the making. Uh, my next guest is an author of a book, and it's called Justified, Justify, and it has taken her 25 years to write it, and a very personal story behind the book. I'm joined by Louise Barrett, author Hi. of Justify. How are you? I'm good. I'm very good. Yes, Excellent. thank you. Excellent. Thank well, you. let's talk about the, the inspiration behind this story. Take me back to, um, it was a, an accident that, that your son was involved in. Yes, but my actual book started with me because I've lost my parents at 12 years old, okay. and I've already had a university degree at that age so I got married and I started writing and then I already had sent my book out but only with my own personal biography and then my son's accident happened uh, it was like the story of a few good son neighbors almost killed my son and it took me eight years in the hospital with him by his side after 14 operations to reopen his throat, so I had to stop writing. And when he stopped having the operations, I could start back to work. I see. And my marriage all my life has been shattered by this whole accident. Um, and so I had to stick to reality, and I've worked actual jobs. I'm a health and safety officer in civil con construction. Okay. And I've realized that finding out what really PTSD is, because deep down, I think I'm traumatized by my own story. I was going to ask you about that. So your parents died when you were at the age of 12. What, what effect did that have on you as a 12-year-old as a girl? I had to move on. I had to go with tutors. And my money actually went into my first marriage, my only marriage, Okay. Uh, where technically, yes, I did not have to work at 25 years old because he also had inherited and I had such a beautiful life that neighbors just came to shatter my whole life. So what are the circumstances? What, what happened with your, with your neighbors? Uh, actually, their son, which was two year, 12 years old, put my son on a tree and put him on fire. And my son was what? burned to the third degree and suffered when he inhaled the flames. Okay. And by inhaling the flames, I've had to bring him to Boston Hospital. I've had to bring him everywhere. I've spent all my money on my son's accident. And no, I, I my book is my way out of my life. So this was sort of therapeutic then for you? Yes. Is, that, yes. is that a good way to put it? Yes. So I wrote my own personal biography in my first book, adding his accident, everything that happened, why I chose the career I chose up to now. Okay. And the answer to that one will be into my second book. But for my first book, I was just happy to be finally out, which now it's on ebook starting today on Amazon. But so this what do you what do you hope people book, learn from this book? What do you want uh, people to take away from it? That everything can happen to you, but just stay strong. Just have faith, because hard work maybe does pay. But even with my book, I still want to help people, not only me. Three dollars of my book is still going for me to help people that lives on the street okay. and build a firm. And I've went to visit Vancouver's North Vancouver on Hastings Street. It was terrible. And I actually just quit a job at National Defense because I was afraid to go to work and walk between all these people. Really? And even 25 years ago when I had my own farm, I wanted to help. But my life was shattered. Now I'm starting again. So I mean, you you've seen personally. I listen. I, I mentioned in the last segment, uh, one of you know that we're in the middle of an election campaign, and one of the biggest issues is homelessness, right? Is addiction? Is the opioid crisis? So you're you're saying that that you you've seen this, like many citizens yeah. in Ottawa, and and but but you wanted to do something yeah. about it. Right? And three dollars of each of my book will go into a trust fund to build a farm because anybody, even the ones that are on the street or about to go on the street, people need a hand. People need to be brought by the hand and given help. It's not just people lose their life. I could have lost my life. Mm -hmm. I could have chose to give up. Right. I didn't. I always did have, have faith. Did you have support during any of these circumstances when after your parents died or, or no. after your son's accident? Even the newspaper or, or television would say, well, they have had all the support they need morally and everything. It was never true. 
I supported my own son morally through years. And like just last month, I, like I told you, when I went to Van North Vancouver visiting the street, I found an hospital card on, on his table and I asked him, I said, did you leave that there for me to see? And he actually choked and he went into the hospital because now they found a disease because of this accident. Okay. And no insurance ever paid for that accident because there was mistakes after mistakes. How, how is your son doing now? He's still uh, gonna need more operations. Really? But uh, after the burns, I, he's a beautiful, beautiful young man and he's strong. And actually I should say this maybe on TV because he's the one that actually put his two little hands on my face when he was 12 years old. He told me, mom, stop, it's okay. It's okay, everything's gonna be okay. He told you he at, told at, at me. that age, right? He That's was the strong one. Right, right. How do people get a copy of, of the book? Actually, of the book, they can email me at marielouisejo at hotmail.com okay. or they can go anywhere on ebook and find the white and black picture for ebook. Okay. It's going to be all over the world very shortly. But for the actual book, they just send me an email. Okay. And then I take e transfers and then I just send the book by mail to them. Excellent. Thank you so much, Louise. Appreciate Thank your you. time today. We'll be back after this.